What's going on guys and welcome back to LOI TV. Now today we're going to be doing some predictions for this weekend's upcoming fixtures. We haven't done a video like this for a little while but I said we might as well do it for this weekend. If you do go on to enjoy the video guys, uh, we really, really do appreciate it. If you drop a like on it down below, if you can hit 30 likes that would be really really appreciated. And if you are new around here make sure to subscribe as well. We are trying to hit uh, 2k as soon as we can. So yeah, really appreciate that guys. But yeah, I think there's nothing else to do but to jump right into it. Starting off down at Oriel Park, and it's actually a repeat of the cup game that happened during the week where Dundalk are playing house to Waterford. Dundalk ran out 1-0 winners in that game, but obviously it's going to be very, very different uh, from the cup tie. But uh, yeah, when, when it comes down to must-win games, there's no other way to describe this for Dundalk. Um, they have they can't drop any more points this season. I think it's as simple as that. If they want to catch uh, Shamrock Rovers, they can't afford to drop any more points. They've been poor as of late. Um, but I do fancy Dundalk to grab three points here just out of pure necessity. They have to do it. Um, I'm going to go for a 2-0 Dundalk win. I think they're going to get back on track a little bit in a morale boosting victory. I think a key player here could be Stefan Kolovic if he starts off on the right hand side and Sean Gannon linking up there. So kind of Sean Gannon goes on the overlap so it allows Kolovic to kind of cut inside a little bit more which is we is if you watch the games against Bohemians and St. Pat's he's really really uh, creative and really dangerous when he cuts in on his left foot so yeah I'm going to fancy Dundalk to pick up the three points here with Stefan Kolovic being a key part of it next up we have Cork City playing host to Sligo Rovers now uh, Cork City are on the back of a, a huge win during the week uh, they scored in the 120th minute against Longford Town in the cup uh, which you could see the celebrations at the end how much it means to them to go through to the next round um, so yeah they're going to take a little bit of confidence from that and they need to get a few results going together they're on the back of a nil all draw with Waterford which isn't a dreadful result but this is going to be a tough game coming up against an informed Sligo side who are unbeaten since the restart they've looked like a different team completely and um, yeah it's going to be tough for Cork and um, I'm kind of leaning towards an away win here with Sligo being in such good form but I'm going to fancy Cork to nick a one all draw and um, I think I think that's I think that's going to because with the home advantage and I think Cork just need to get a goal here I think Cork do have enough about them to get a point from this one uh, Sligo it's, it's going to be a very tough game Sligo the fans are starting to believe that they can really push on this season into the top half of the table so that kind of remains to be seen I'm not sure if Junior is back uh, is available just yet for Sligo that's going to be a big boost when he comes into the into the team but I'm going to fancy Fancy Cork to nick a point here, 1-1. One, one. Moving on to Saturday's fixtures now. Uh, the first game on Saturday is Finn Harps playing a host to Bohemians. Um, Finn Harps aren't in good form at all. They've had a couple of uh, disappointing defeats since the restart. As for Bows, they've been fantastic. And on the back of that huge win against Dundalk, um, it's going to give them huge confidence in terms of can they finally crack into this top two and potentially challenge for the title. It's a big ask to be able to do that for the whole season, but the way they're going, they look really, really good. And um, the likes of Twardick and Danny Grant have been instrumental in their success this season. They've been so, so good. And uh, you'd, you'd have to fancy no way win here. It's going to be tough. Um, you know exactly how Finn Harp's going to set up. They're going to sit behind, a lot of players behind the ball, uh, look to nick things. They nicked a goal against Pats during the week to get through in the FEI Cup. Um, that's exactly what you're going to expect from them. But I do fancy Bowes to nick it 1-0. I think it's going to be tough for Bowes. Um, a lot of fans might be expect them to wipe the floor of Finn Harps it's not going to be that easy I don't think uh, I think it's going to be a tough game for Bose but I think they've definitely got enough about them and they've got a lot of quality in the team from a lot of different areas now I do fancy Bose to nick this one 1-0 one the second game on the Saturday sees Shelburne play host to Derry City this game is very difficult to predict both sides have a lot of in inconsistency really in their form uh, this season so it's, it's a hard one to predict um, Derry will take some belief from the game against Shamrock Rovers obviously they didn't get any points from the game but they did take the lead they played pretty well and um, they feel like they probably could have got something from it in the end they were a little bit unlucky kind of hit the bar and uh, probably could deserve the point from it really um, Shamrock Rovers are obviously that little bit of a step level above um, but you'd think Derry will fancy their chances coming to Shells Shells of course um, they've been inconsistent really the, the loss against Waterford at home will, was disappointed and um, that will be kind of playing in their minds a little bit uh, you'd imagine so yeah I think I'm going to go with a nil nil for this one you'd fancy Derry to be the side that would nick it if there was to be one um, Shells look at this a little bit blunt in the final third of the pitch at the moment but I'm gonna go for a nil all draw. I think I think both I think Shells definitely would take that. Uh, Derry maybe not so much, but yeah, I'm gonna go nil all. And the final game of the weekend, and I think it's gonna be a cracker on the Sunday evening. 
Yep, 5 o'clock on Sunday evening. I had to just check that quickly. St. Pat's playing host to Shamrock Rovers. Um, St. Pat's are a different animal with Georgie Kelly in their side. I think it's as simple as that. Georgie Kelly, for my money, best striker in the league, I think, personally. Uh, I've said it for a little while that I've rated him really, really highly. Um, and now after seeing him, I think seeing him with Patsy, obviously he's scored the brace on his debut against Finn Herps. Uh, and he's going to be a handful for uh, Shamrock Rovers to have to deal with. Obviously, they have Lopez and Grace there. You, you can't ask for a better partnership than that, really. But I think Georgie Kelly's a nightmare for any defence in this league. Um, Pats are looking better. They obviously had the disappoint. They've made a lot of changes for the game during the week in the Cup. So you can't really judge them too much off that, I don't think. But, um, yeah, I think Pats could cause Rovers problems here. Rovers haven't dropped a point yet this season. They've been phenomenal. Um but I think Pats Pats definitely have enough to nick at least a point from this, and I, I think Pats definitely have are capable of finishing in the top four this season, uh, leapfrogging Derry. Uh, obviously, from where I I thought they, Derry would be this season, I thought they'd be kind of fourth. So I definitely think Pats have it in them to get the fourth place this season. Can they crack the top three? Probably not. But with Georgie Kelly in the side, I think anything could be possible for them really, and that's what Pats have been lacking for so long as a goal scorer. Since Christy Fagan, they haven't had anyone. So um, I think Pats could genuinely get something from this game. Um, it's so hard to know. It's really, really difficult to know. I'm hoping for a few goals in this one on the Sunday evening. Um, I'm going to go for 2-2. Two, two. Just hoping for a few goals. Um, maybe optimistic, but... Um, I, I think I think, I think think Pats could definitely cause Rovers problems here. Uh, Rovers, it's not necessarily... A nightmare if they get a point at, at Richmond Park. If you think about it in terms of they haven't dropped a point yet this season, Dundalk drew at home to the Pats. So it's not. I don't think that it's the worst result in the world for Rovers to go there and get a get a draw. But Rovers will be looking to win and to form their in, and the, the confidence they're playing with at the moment definitely fancy their chances to win. But yeah, I'm going to go two two. Anyways, guys, there you have it. My predictions for this weekend's games. What you think of my predictions? Let me know down in the comments below, and also make sure to leave your comments down there as well with your predictions for this weekend's games. I really do appreciate you watching, guys. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a big like on the video. If we hit around thirty, I'll be delighted. So. Yeah, uh, and if you can, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It means a lot to us, and we're hoping to hit 2K. I think we're about 100 off, so it means a lot to us if you can go ahead and do that. We are going to be doing some watch-longs. I'm not sure this weekend what we're going to be doing, but uh, we definitely have some coming next week, um, and we're going to try and get them going a little bit, little bit more frequently um, because I do, we do enjoy doing them, a few of us watching the games, and I hope you enjoy them as well. So if you want to stick around for them, and if you have any other content ideas, let, me, let us know down in the comments below. And yeah, enjoy the football this weekend, and we'll catch you in a bit.